Who are you and what do you do? So my name is Russ Brannigan. Forget the doctor business. Um, and I uh, own and am president of Research Collective, which is a human factors consultancy. Tell me about that. Yeah. So human factors is the design of uh, all kinds of products so that they're particularly easy to use. So that means easy to learn, efficient to use, sort of subjectively satisfying. But the part that matters most for us, in addition to selling more product because it's so easy to use and so forth, is that it reduces things like risk error. Uh, or use error, I should say. And the notion behind that is suddenly we end up with much healthier patients, fewer people uh, dying because of, frankly, use error of medical devices. And this has been a real problem. And of course, FDA has sort of woken up to this problem through the patient uh, safety sort of community and recognized that, boy, most products that could potentially cause some kind of use through, or some kind of error through misuse really ought to be usability tested. And it's a fairly recent thing, but it's something that we've been doing for quite a long time. So I've been in human factors, for example, for, I think I did my first usability test in 1988. And back then they were- I was just a boy. I was, I was too, I was, I was four. Um, but uh, it, uh, it turns out then we would do this work on military and aviation equipment and all of these kinds of things. And I always thought, boy, we should be doing this in medicine. And, and fairly recently FDA's decided we should too. So. I'm thinking from a marketing positioning standpoint, Yeah, why do I need you? Right. Because I hired a design and development firm and part of design is human factors, so why do I need you? It, it, it is to, to some extent. So often um, design groups will have one or two human factors people. Often these folks are actually not trained human factors people, but people who sort of found themselves in this position. And whereas our organization has really been focused on finding and hiring masters and PhD level folks have decided that they want to do this as a living. This is their chosen profession. And there's the academic side, which is what we really, almost all of us came from this uh, point where we're interested in studying human learning and memory and decision making and, and all of those things are imperfect. And all of those things uh, have some implications for how we design stuff. And it turns out if we don't match those capabilities, if we don't take into account those limitations, nasty things tend to happen. And uh, a lot of people have a real interest in designing for humans. We've heard several talks about this. The notion is we have all these wonderful people doing electronics and mechanics and all of those kinds of things. We rarely have people who are experts at human beings. And we decided that was gonna be our thing. You're an expert in human beings. I do my best. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Russell, thank oh, you very much. Thank you.